Dear Microsoft, boy oh boy do I have the greatest letter of all time for you. So let let's get let me get this straight. Let me let me I haven't posted anything in I don't I don't know how many months. I don't really fucking care either um at this point. But here here let, let, let's 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 get something straight Microsoft. <clears throat> you see when you make a new operating system, do not shove it into my goddamn face because you're so fucking proud that it's not a piece of shit like Windows 8 was. <clears throat> now, that being said, I appreciate the free upgrade because of your failure to make a good operating system with Windows 8. That being said, do not, and I repeat this, ev do ev never again, ever, ever again, do not upgrade my computer to your new shitty operating system without my permission. Why, you may ask, why you may ask is because of this shit right here. Windows 7, this copy of Windows is not genuine. Guess what, Microsoft? <clears throat> I bought Windows 7 probably about three years ago, about the time Windows 8 came out, uh, because I was using XP still, because I'm stupid. <clears throat> but I was using Windows 7 for two reasons. One, and, and while you can't see this, I put up two on my fingers because, I'm a, I, again, I'm a fucking idiot. But, but one, <clears throat> I used Windows 7 because it, from everything that I heard, it was better for gaming. And you, guess what? I have a gaming computer, so I kind of want a game. <clears throat> so, that being said, Windows 8 had some problems with Fallout and a few of our other games and pretty much every game in existence. <clears throat> So that's why that's why I got uh, Windows 7. <clears throat> so when Windows 10 came out and you offered free upgrades, I said hell no to that because it broke more of my games. I mean, sure, it was a better operating system, but it still broke my games. Now, your dumbass came out and, and you kept asking me about every single day, hey, you want to upgrade to this new Windows? And I said no, every single day. And then... And then yesterday happened. Here, let, let me... Let me <clears throat> yesterday was the 17th. L everybody that I knew that had Windows 7 was forcibly upgraded to Windows 10. You dumb motherfuckers just gone and broke my computer. <clears throat> now, that sounds like the most redneck thing I've ever fucking said. But you just broke my goddamn computer. Because I just moved out of my house... And I don't know where my Windows 7 disk is or the case, so I don't have the key for Windows 7. And when I found out that um, Windows, you could go back to Windows 7, I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to go back because I love Fallout New Vegas. It's my most played game ever. And Windows 10 breaks it. So I'm going to stick with Windows 7 for as long as possible. So <clears throat> I did this before I went to work. And I come back to, oh, this copy of Windows is not genuine. Well, guess what? I don't have the case, so I can't, I can't verify it. So I said, fine. All right, fine. I'll just, I'll just wait, and, and I'll, I'll, just get, I'll just get the key back. But until then, I'll go back to Windows 10, so I can at least use my computer safely. Oh, but wait, Windows isn't activated on this PC, so you can't upgrade it to Windows 10. You dumb motherfuckers have gone and broke my computer. So now I can't even use it safely on the days that I have off. So thank you, Microsoft. Thank you for your wonderful operating system that has gone and broke my computer because you selfishly decided that everybody in the entire world needed to use your stupid new operating system. Thank you very much, Microsoft, and thank you for shopping at fucking Walmart. <laughs>